she tries to take her tools that she's used in the lab for years and apply them to life. Everybody there is equal and they can reproduce as they please. A true democratic society compared to the totalitarian one with a queen. You can draw a parallel that involves social psychology and even political studies. And has all of the tools in the scientific world to cope and to survive and to really thrive actually. But in her life, in her actual life, she's uh, inept. We made some very interesting new explorations thanks to you. We can write together an article summing up our new study about the worker turned queen. <laughs> she's not in touch with her body, she's not in touch with her hormones or her emotions. All of that's new to her and so the great pleasure of the performance for me is to start from this place of being out of touch and begin to become human. There's no way to hide it now. People <laughs> will know about it. Society will impose its self-regulating rules. Any person or neighbor at the supermarket will address that somehow. You've lost your freaking mind! And, you know, something that I'm able to do in the play is connect with the audience, which very often we have that fourth wall up and you don't get that extra relationship. I mean, they're always part of our experience and, and really change the show every night. But this time I get to actually communicate with them.